So far we've only been looking at what happens under standard conditions. So now let's look at what happens under non-standard conditions. So remember what standard conditions are. You have, uh, if you have an aqueous solution, the concentration is one molar. If you have a, um, a gas, then the pressure is one atmosphere. So if everything's all one, everything works out easily. Uh, if it's not one, then you're going to have to calculate a Q. So remember how we find Q. Q is like products over reactants raised to the stoichiometric coefficient. So we looked at Q in chapter 15. Very similar to K. There's only one K. There's an infinite number of Qs. Um, so Q means you're, you're not at equilibrium. K means you are at equilibrium. But you set up the expression pretty much the same way. So let's go back to chapter 19 for a second and look at this equation. So you had delta G is delta G naught plus RT ln of Q. And now we remember that we, now this next part, we remember that, uh, that delta G, oops, delta G is equal to negative NFE. So all we're doing here is substituting delta G is that. So I have negative NFE is equal to negative NF. E naught, so this is under non-standard conditions, these are under standard conditions, plus RT ln of Q. So I'm just deriving this equation if you're not into uh, equation derivation, <laughs> derivations, and don't worry about this, I'm not going to ask you to do it. Divide by negative NF, but it's nice to know where these things come from. Negative NF divided by negative NF. So you end up with E, and that's really E cell, is our E naught cell. Uh, minus RT over NF natural log of Q. Now if you're looking at that going, it's not quite, we're not quite there yet. But R is a constant, T is, you know, if you're at 298, that's a constant. F is a constant. N is going to change depending on the reaction, but you have all constants right here. And then there's a quick conversion to go from natural log to the log of base 10. And that's just like another number that you can, you can factor in there. So if I replace all of those with a magic number, I get E cell equals E naught cell minus 0 0.0592 over N times the log of Q. So the 0 0.0592 came from R, which is what, 8.3145. T is 298, and F is 9645. So when you put all of that in uh, together, and then you do the simple conversion from the natural log to the log base 10, you get this magic number of 0 0.0592. So that's what we're going to use. This equation It's called the Nernst equation. And we're going to use that whenever we have um, non-standard conditions. And you'll know that you have non-standard conditions when they give you concentrations and they're not one. Like in this next problem, they say, calculate the cell potential gener generated by a voltaic cell in which this is, the, this is the reaction. And then they tell you these are the concentrations. So this is not one. This one is one. This is one. This is not one. So we're not, not everybody's under standard conditions. So we're going to have to calculate a Q based on this reaction. And remember, when you do, when you calculate a Q, you don't have to worry about solids or liquids. Remember how solids and liquids didn't go in the equilibrium constant expression? They're not going to go in your Q expression either. So this, this problem is it's a little bit intense. You have to, we're going to use this equation. Right? Let me write down the equation so you can see all the pieces that we need. We're trying to find E cell, and that's equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0592, that's just a magic number, over N times the log of Q. So we need to find E naught cell, which we know how to do that, right? We can take this reaction, split it up into half reactions, figure out who's being oxidized, who's being reduced, look up those values in the table, calculate E cell, N, once we balance this reaction, we know how many electrons are being gained, how many electrons are being lost. We can find N. And then Q, the Q expression is just the products over the reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficients. Ignore the solids and the liquids and the gases. So let's find E cell first, or E naught cell, using the table. So if you look at this and you're like, oh, what the hell? There's so many pieces. Find the, the six I minus and three I, those probably go together. If you don't know where to start, just ignore the H pluses and the waters because you know we add those in later. Um, but I have here 6I minus and 3I2. So I have, um, yeah, minus 6 on this side. Uh, so I need to add 6 electrons over here to balance out the charge. So right away from that, I know that this guy is what? He's losing electrons. He's being oxidized. That's my anode. And everything else is probably in the cathode. Cr2, O7, 2 minus, 14H pluses, 2, Cr. So this is, it was already balanced for you. You just need to know 
really, you had to split it up to figure out who was the, the anode, who was the cathode, and how many electrons were being transferred. And let's just double check that, right? So we had two chromiums plus three, um, so we have plus six charge on this side. And then over here I have plus 14, minus two is a plus 12 charge. So I'm gonna add my six electrons over here. So I know that N is gonna be six. So right away I already found N, that's great. N is gonna be six, that's great. This is my anode. This guy is gaining electrons, he's being reduced. That's my cathode. So I have my E naught cathode. It's going to be over here. And I can look those up in the table now. So I'm looking at I minus and I two. Um, let's go to our table, maybe. I minus and I2, where are you? There's I2 and I minus. Now notice I had like a three and a six over there before. It's It doesn't matter, I don't have to change this number, just pull it out, I'm looking for the I2 and the I minus, I don't care about the coefficients. So 0.54 for that guy. And then our other reaction was up here, this 1.33, have all those guys, okay. So our anode is 0 0.54, 0 0.54 for the iodine, and the other one was 1.33. So we can find our E naught cell, which is the really first step here, cathode minus anode, 1.33 minus 0.54. So, so far this isn't really new, we've done this before, um, we get point seven nine volts is our e naught cell okay so that's our e naught cell so we need to know that we need to know the number of moles of electrons being transferred so so far we have our e naught cell we have our n now we have to work on our q so this is the new part that we're adding we're under non-standard conditions so we have to set up our q expression products over reactants raised to the stoichiometric coefficients so products are over here i have chromium and I have two of those, so I'm gonna square that. Solid, liquid, I don't have to worry about that. Over, products over reactants here, I have Cr2O7, two my, make sure you have this reaction balanced, that's going to matter. Raised to the 14, and I minus raised to the six, okay. So I did products over reactants, I didn't worry about the solids and the liquids, and now I can plug all of that into the Q expression. So chromium three plus is right there. So I want 1.0 times 10 to the negative five, that whole thing squared over two, Ooh, just two times one raised to the 14, right? H plus is one and I minus is also one. So one raised to the 14 is just one. So really I have one times 10 to the negative five squared over two. So my Q ends up being, Q ends up being five times 10 to the negative 11. And now I can plug all of that into this equation. So now I have Q, I have everything I need. Whoop, scroll up a little bit, plug all that in. So I have my E naught cell, which was 0. 79 uh, minus 0.0592 over n, which is 6, times the log of q, 5 times 10 to the negative 11. And so when you work all that out, that's your E cell, that becomes 0 0.89 volts. Okay, so we end up with 0 0.89 volts. All right, just to recap this fun. So what we did was just what we usually do. We found E naught cell first. So you take this reaction, split it up into half reactions, figure out who's the anode, who's the cathode, figure out the number of electrons being transferred, number of moles of electrons being transferred. Calculate your E naught cell, cathode minus anode. And then the new part was just to add Q. Q is just products over reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficients. Don't worry about solids or liquids. Even if they give you like a mass for the solid, don't worry about it. The solids and liquids don't go in the equilibrium constant expression or in the Q expression.